All right, so now in this quadrant, in this northeast quadrant, again, we're going to exit off. Find the horizontal and vertical center. Now, I want you to do these by hand. Um, if your personality is anything like mine, you're going to be tempted to go in with rulers and graph paper and calipers and try and get these measurements exactly right. And that's not what this is about. This is about trying to understand the basic design of the skull to a simplified form and a schematic process. So it's important that we draw our schematics by hand, that we judge the relationship by eye. It trains our eyes to see distance and it allows us to get used to drawing this in a very freehand way. Ultimately what we're going to do is simplify this so that we don't have to create so many anomalies with the X's and the grids and the boxes when we can just draw it from our mind um, in the correct form. But to get there we need to do this construct. Okay, so now starting here what we need to do is curve the skull around and draw in the forehead and then work on the eye and the nose area. So what we're going to do here is starting at this center line we are going to divide between here and here we're going to divide that in half and then the space from here to here in half. So what we did is from the center of this quadrant we divided up divide up. And this line connects through just like that. Now we need to know where it's going here as it heads down towards the nose and the eye socket. And so again starting at the center of this northeast quadrant we are going to divide east, divide east, divide west. And right here at this point is the connection point just like that and again it's okay to be really flat with your lines here the skull is actually very flat and very boxy so I would encourage you to flatten out these lines as opposed to making really soft organic lines alright now here in this bottom quadrant of this larger northeast quadrant what we're going to do is we are going to X this box off just like that and then we're going to find this smaller box down here in this corner. Just like that. And it's the center point that we want right there. So we could have done that another way. What I could have done is I could have, from center, I could have divided on the diagonal, divide in half, and then divide the space again in half on that diagonal and found that point exactly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect from our last point to that point. Again, this is a curved line. This represents the bony protuberance of the forehead, of the brow. So this curves just like that. And then the, the nose, the nasal bone, actually carries along the line of this X perfectly. So I'm just going to finish out that nasal bone from that center point to the center line just like that. 